Hey guys, today we are going to be reacting to Gordon Ramsay's Hotel Hell. Um, we're Go Gordon Ramsay's weirdest hotel, weirdest hotel rooms on Hotel Hell. I love Hotel Hell. I love anything that Ramsay's in. <laughs> Master Chef, Hotel Hell. <coughs> Excuse me. Kitchen Nightmares. Um, Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, these rapid fires of um, curse words. But thanks to him, I picked up a few new ones, like donkey. That's a favorite. But anyway, here it is. So I'm just gonna press play. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. I'm not sure. God, that smell of lemon. I mean, why on earth would you need air freshener in here with such beautiful air? Sounds. Oof. That's true, actually. Yeah, the smell in here is crazy, you know? Let me screw you over the window. Oh, I guess the back of your throat, right? Yeah. Um, is someone going to make up the beds? They are made. I've seen dog baskets. Uh, that's a hot <laughs> dog. They put in about five years ago. Bloody hell, seriously. Yeah, oh, they're shit. definitely old. A little bit. Blood. I don't think so. What is that? Ew. It's a stain anyway. Wow. Okay, so, Ew. um, I'll be down. I don't really know, man. Yeah, what do you recommend? She does the rainbow trout here. What's her name? Her name is Gina. Okay, great. Gina thanks for the update. Rainbow trout. Um, thanks, Why I... do I have a feeling that's not going to be cooked properly? The view is breathtaking, but the color is depressing. I mean, no rain's right? Everything's Jesus. dark and gray and dingy. And the pillows, look at those. How Oops. uninviting. Oh, thank you. Like the dog sat on it for the last ten years. <laughs> Ew. It's like a piece of candy stuck on a pillow. It's terrible. It's almost like they've fallen out of love for this place. And look at that. Ugh, big dirty stain. The melody of love. Yeah. Oh, do you hear people shagging in the next door? <laughs> no? You must hear something. Uh, wow. Holy mackerel. Is that mold in there? I, I wouldn't be surprised if it were mold. Focus. Now, where's the uh, wardrobe? Yay. So I can hang my jacket up. Wardrobe, um, right no, over right there. Oh, right over. That's, yeah, okay. kind of hidden behind the microwave and moldy uh, refrigerator. Jesus. I'm feeling really nervous right now, but I know that the room was really too. cluttered, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, at least we have a light well, bulb. it's your hotel, you should know. Taking light bulbs out of the lamps, Mandy said that he doesn't want them turned on. Some guy called Jim. My Jim? father my takes dad. light bulbs out of the lamps? He's your father. Yeah. And works in the business as well. Our mom kind of goes around and um, helps clean up after people's mess. Are they owners as well? They're investors. They're investors. They're investors. They're investors. So your parents bought you this place? Yes. The moment we saw this place, I knew I had to have it. So I found every single way possible to convince my daddy. No matter what I had to do, I just had to have it. Of course you did. I definitely did. think they could have gotten it for cheaper. And they probably should have. Okay. Well, it's on my be in room 16. Smart. Because room 16 has a ghost in it. This woman told me who went to room 16. She said the ghost was pulling the blankets off her all night long. And you haven't been drinking sherry? No. <laughs> There's a ghost at the Curtis house, and people do tell us that she raises a little bit of havoc with them. She's definitely there. Room oh, you know, now he has to go on room 16. To disprove it. Uh, Ew. Oh dear. Oh, Jesus way. Christ. I give them a list of the rooms that are coming in there are supposed to thoroughly check the room. Do we, do, we, do we have electricity in the house? I couldn't believe what Gordon found in that room. And what is this? Oh, oh Jesus. This broke the bed. No, we just realized the air. Wow, beautiful room. And, uh, uh and disgusting. I mean, this is, uh, It does smell. Ooh, this guy. Yeah, that smells like shit. I mean, that is horrific. Oh, my God. This it is the like Juniper, so Juniper Hill Inn. It's plumbing issue, and it's like someone's it's... shot under the bed, and, um, how much? This room goes for 300 and... 
$350 a night. $350 a night for a room that smells of shit. Well, you're kidding me. We haven't rented it, though. Bloody hell. It's been out of use for, um, four months. Four months? Yeah. Oh, come on. It has been. This is crazy. It is crazy. It just makes sense. I've got to get out of here. It stinks. Is there another room? Yes, please? I have room, too. Bloody yeah. hell. I didn't realize. $350. Wow. Yes. It's so empty. More like a garage than a guest room. And how much is this a night? Seven fifty nine. Seven hundred and fifty nine dollars. Wow. No thanks. That's incredibly expensive. And what's that thing there? That is actually the jacuzzi tub. In the middle of the lounge. It is in the middle of the lounge. Wow. When they designed the rooms, they took away all the interior walls. So, without sounding stupid, these are car designers. Correct. They are car designers. Now they're putting jacuzzis in the middle of suites. Last time I checked, a living room was for sitting in, not taking a bath. <laughs> how much do these things cost? The jacuzzi tub itself is about $20,000. You don't take baths in cars! Oh, <laughs> Jesus. This is crazy. But who wanted all the specially designed That is the owner. Areas. That's Eddie. That's Eddie. Yes. <laughs> oh, this crazy. guy. Oh, shit. A sports car inspired furniture looks cheap and isn't even functional. It's different than anything else. Um, different from a nice hotel room. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, who on earth would want to sit here? And sort of watch the television. And watch the television. <laughs> it works though. The sheets. How can they also wrinkle when having slept in there? Why is that? We do them in house. When you say we, what do you mean? You don't do laundry. Lifestyle means everything. Your mouthwash. <laughs> it's like gas. Sock is all broken or smashed down there. Someone's left their dirty ones in there. The plastic plants. That's outrageous. Eight hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gordon doesn't like <laughs> anything about the hotel. Damn it. Anything else? If I have any lifestyle needs, I'll call. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that over? Is that it? I can't tell if this is it. Hold on. Yep, that was it. Holy shit. <laughs> Once again, I'm sorry if it's blurry. I'm really trying. Holy fuck, Grams, Jesus, the shit you go through, I'm sorry. Holy shit. But anyway, that was um, Gordon Ramsay's Weirdest Hotel Rooms on Hotel Hell. I really, really hope there was more of this because gold. It's gold. Not those hotel rooms. I wouldn't stay in those hotel rooms if you pay me a million dollars. I wouldn't do it. But his content is golden, like a potato, an Irish potato. I can comment, comment down below if you know who that's from. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Stay happy. Stay wonderful. And smash that like button. Smash that sub button because we are two subs away from the... Every Hogwarts, every flavor bean reaction. Try not to. Sorry, not reaction. Try not to. So please like, like, big thumbs up, thumbs ups, thumbs ups. Spread the word. Please. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.